On today's SpaceX update, I'll quickly highlight Elon's super heavy tower capture tweet, new robots delivered to Boca Chica, there's a new SN9 update, and recent SpaceX footage from SN8's flight that are worth highlighting. So this is the tweet from December 30th that Elon put out that basically set the SpaceX community ablaze with a bunch of great um, footage and theories on what's going to happen now. Basically, Elon says here, we're going to try to catch the super heavy booster with the launch tower arm using the grid fins to take the load. So he's suggesting removing the legs completely and capturing the rocket by its grid fins on the launch tower. Now I just want to highlight Reddit user FrowawayDa, who six years ago suggested capturing a rocket by, uh, by arms rather than having it land on its legs. One out of many uh, recent animations, which are pretty interesting. Illustration from a user DocRob10. So, you know, just quickly jumping back to Elon's tweet, I think, um, you know, they will, uh, they will use the original kind of design and shape of the tower as much as they can. Perhaps we'll see a simple mechanical brace fold out with uh, some dampening uh, support built into the tower onto which the Super Heavy can lay to rest uh, nice and empty. And uh, that, that same mechanism could be used for stacking as well up and down the tower um so you know we'll see what they come up with very exciting to to check it out here's a great twitter exchange between rgv aerial photography and elon musk himself they uh, did a very creative and amazing picture here of what appeared to be sn9 and sn10 in very short order on both launch pads at boca chica and elon musk himself said hey that might very well be likely so so this could very well be a scene from next week, right before the launch of SN9. Here's a picture from a couple days ago from RGV uh, showing uh, arrival of new flaps. Um, but also, very interestingly, it's showing um, here um, uh, new cone structures, uh, perhaps uh, foreshadowing uh, a new streamlined uh, shape for the cone, uh, for the nose cone of the rocket, um, as well what I personally find really interesting is this robot in here, this KUKA robot that is mounted to this vertical motorized shaft structure that you know moves it up and down. So perhaps they'll use it for heat shield tile attachment or the structures behind them. Perhaps they'll use it for welding um, uh, the nose cone pieces together. Perhaps they'll use it for welding the entire Starship together and simply rotate and move this uh, uh, structure around the Starship as, uh, as it goes. Who knows, the sky is the limit and I am really excited. And uh, looking back here now, I pretty much maybe I'm thinking that they might be using this older nose cone as um, kind of testing uh, material for, uh, for what this uh, robot can, can do. Well, here's some shots of these KUKA robots in action. High precision, crazy stuff. Now, judging from those uh, aerial pictures, this is the model of KUKA robot that we might be seeing there. I mean, this thing is serious business. Elon uses these in his Tesla factories, of course. Now, it's very interesting when they play all these promo videos of these uh, phenomenal robots. They uh, often play them in slow motion. These robots are extremely quick at what they do and um, including those boston dynamics robots the ones that we've seen dancing around recently in that uh, really fun video these robots work extremely quickly so you know you can imagine that um, uh, robot on the lift structure there is zipping around the uh, starship and uh, putting it together so with regards to uh, sn9 speculation um, the uh, debris has been cleared up uh, off the landing pad and um, the uh, static fire may happen at the end of this week and who knows perhaps early next week uh, we'll actually see the test flight and uh, rollout of the starships and by the way spacex has released um, a new video clips of sn8's flight and i'll highlight them right now now this is footage directly from spacex themselves they have some onboard cameras here 
Look at that. On SN8. Yeah. Wow, this is a great shot. Now this shot right here is just phenomenal. It's a camera right below the um, Starship on its way onto the landing pad. So this camera is basically uh, just a few feet off the target area of where the Starship lands. And it is just, I, ha I watched this maybe a dozen times over and I can't get enough watching this clip. You know, check this. I can't get enough watching this clip. This is real. It looks completely animated, but that's real live footage of the Starship doing this exact maneuver. Belly flopping and then reorientating. So that camera is actually like right, right below it here, looking upwards to get this crazy, crazy shot. Wait, let me just rewind it a little bit. So right where it starts, this crazy shot. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, really, really cool. Anyway, uh, it's going to be an exciting next couple of weeks. Um, thanks for sticking around. We'll talk to you next time. Ho, 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 ho.